So from a from our diagram previously, we realized that we had one switch and on that switch, we have multiple device, multiple networks being accommodated on the same switch, which is just saying that you have one big house, which is made up of maybe two, four, six, eight, and 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 rooms. Are you saying that the first two is going to be for one particular family? And the second two rooms will be for another particular family, and the third room, also, the third, the third two will also be for another family. This is exactly what switch. Um, sorry, VLANs are. VLANs is just saying that when we have a switch and we're not using all the the switch ports, but we still have new networks we want to build, we can make use of the the new ports, even though. So we can make use of the other ports, even though we want them to be on a different network. And that's what VLANs are. So VLANs are is just a way of separating. Technically, you can use that as a way to separate networks or separate uh, machines on, a, on the same network, because this is a sub-network. So you don't want these people to be able to communicate with these people. So you create VLANs and put these ones in there, create another VLAN, put these ones in there, create another one. So technically, that's what we're doing. Even though we've created four different subnets, what we wanted is to create four different networks, which is a subnet. And so on the switch, we can create that capability where the switch would make sure that we divide its ability into four, make it look like we have four switches, but it's just one switch. The benefit of doing this is that um, it means that if you want to send a broadcast message to people in a particular subnet, the fact that we've created different VLANs, it means that those people will not be able to receive those broadcast messages because if you are not in that VLAN, you don't expect to be receiving the same information from a particular network. It also means that it can improve performance because it reduces how much bandwidth we are using when we send them broadcast messages. It also means that um, we are also protecting ourselves against some boundaries. So if we something happens within this network, it's not going to affect people in this, sorry, this subnet is not going to affect people in this subnet because there's some kind of logical um, separation between the two subnets. And so there's no way uh, information can flow from one network to the other easily. Like the, the keyword is easily because it has to go through some kind of uh, routing before they'll be able to send information to a different network. Uh, 